As I reflected on the lessons that I've gained, I realized that we've framed the environmental problem the wrong way. There is no environment out there, and we're here, and we've got to regulate our interaction with it. We are the environment. There is no distinction. What we are doing to our surroundings, we're doing directly to ourselves. From the moment every one of us left our mother's body to the last gasp on our deathbed, we need air 15 to 40 times a minute. We breathe air deep into the most moist, warm, intimate parts of our bodies, and we fuse to the air. When you think of the, the destiny of the air we breathe in, our lungs are filled with about 300 million alveoli, these little capsules. We need all of those alveoli to make the, uh, the surface area to come into contact with the air. If you flattened out all of the alveoli onto two dimensions, it would, they would cover a tennis court. So that much surface area is all wrinkled up into our lungs. And then along lining each alveolus is a three-layered membrane called a surfactant. The surfactant reduces surface tension, so when the air comes into contact with it, it fuses to the surfactant. Carbon dioxide rushes out, oxygen and whatever else is in that air is sucked into our bodies. The oxygen is picked up by red blood cells and with every beat of our heart, that oxygen is delivered to all parts of our bodies. The point is, you can't draw a line and say the air ends here and I begin there. There is no line. The air is in us, it's fused to us, and it's circulating throughout our bodies. We are the air in the most profound way. And when I tell children that we are the air and that air isn't a vacuum or empty space, it's a physical substance, so what comes out of my nose goes straight up yours, they immediately go, oh. you know, I guess we, they think we've got a little bubble of air that's Mark, Mary or Johnny. We're tied together by the matrix of air that embeds us with not just human beings, but, but the trees and the birds and the snakes and the worms that are all using that air. So, air surely should be regarded as this sacred substance that gives life to us and that connects us so intimately from the past well into the future.